Hello everybody, I am Dr. Roma Devnath and welcome to the first session on research methodology and research methods. Let us begin the session to understand what is research in public administration. What is research? In a very simple word, research is search for knowledge. And what is public administration? Public administration is the study of the management, operations and functioning of the government bodies as well as the public sector organizations. So what is research in public administration? Research in public administration is a study to find a possible solution for the different issues and the challenges faced by the government bodies and the public sector organizations. Now when we talk about issues and the problems in public administration, it has a wide range of subjects. One could be improving the government's efficiency in the global pandemic or it could be designing a new online or digital education for the children or it could be predicting the consequences of aging population or it could be minimizing the maintenance health issues it could be the protecting of the consumer rights or it could be addressing the issues of the farmers it could be taking the right step towards the environmental protection or it could be as simple as awarding a contract for, for construction of the road or the bridge we can also talk about national security. Now in all these examples, what is the common thread? The common thread is nothing but the public policy. All these issues revolves around public policy, whether it is designing a new policy or it could be finding the impact or finding the effectiveness of the existing policies. So broadly speaking, public administration research covers two major areas. One is research for the policy and the second research in the policy. So when we say research into the policy, what do we mean? We mean whatever existing policies we have, we are finding the impact of that particular policy or finding the effectiveness of that particular policy. But when we say research for the policy, which means we are trying to design, we are trying to create a new policy. So the research output itself becomes a policy. Now let's come to the next aspect. What is the difference between research methodology and research methods? You must have seen the title of the course. We talked about both the things, but there's a difference also. Let me start with research methods. Research method is nothing but the collection of tools and techniques that are used for the conducting of the research. For instance, we may require statistical tools or non-statistical tools for the conducting of the research. Now, if you are talking about statistical tools, it could be, let's say, as simple as mean, median, mode, dispersion, correlation, regression. These are the tools that can be used for the research. But then there are other techniques which are non-statistical. It could be operation research. For instance, we have the goal programming, transportation, linear programming, optimization. Even this can be used for the research. Now, let's ask this question. What is research methodology? Research methodology is a way to systematically solve a research problem. There are various steps that are involved in a research methodology and we will see each of them. It is necessary for a researcher to know not only the research methods, but also the research methodology, which gives us a logic behind each steps and each stage. Let's come to the next aspect. Now, there is a diagram on your screen. Look at the diagram very carefully. You can see there are many activities and they are all interlinked. So what is the first step? The first step has been defined as discovery of the research problem or identification of the problem. So what does it mean? This means we need to have a problem for which we are seeking for a solution. Now there are different ways to identify a problem. We will discuss all of them later on. But the research problem consists the main aim of your problem and the sub problems that have been derived by the researcher. The next step is the research design, which gives us a framework for the data collection and the analysis. There are different kinds of research designs that are available in the, in the literature. And the choice of the research design depends upon the researcher. What is the next step? Next step is sampling techniques. This gives us an idea or this gives us a framework. What is to be studied? How it is to be sampled? How many numbers are to be sampled? For instance, if I want to conduct a study on the health issues due to pandemic, how many samples do I need to collect? And who should be my sample units? Who should be my respondents? Should I go to the administrators? Should I go to the patients? Or should I go to somebody else? So all these questions are being answered in this particular phase. In the next stage, the data is collected from the 
identified respondents. However, there are many ways to collect the data. For instance, I can collect the data by administering a questionnaire or by a group discussion or by face to face interview or by a telephonic interview or by postal mails, postal survey. Apart from this issue, the data can be collected in different formats which is a most important aspect of the data collection. Now we go to the next step. Once the data is being collected, it has to be analyzed. Once the data is collected, we need to analyze the data. Why? Because the data collected is known as the raw data which do not give us much information until and unless we analyze it. And to analyze the data, we need research methods. From this point, the research method starts. Once the data has been analyzed and the data has been processed, next step is the documenting the research report. But the key information over here is that we need to see the research problem which was originated or which we had identified. Has it been answered? Uh, have, are we able to answer that research problem? Once this step is over, you can see in the diagram there is an arrow mark which says the again the research process starts because research is a continuous and a never ending process. We continue to ask questions, we continue to find out the issues and we are always seeking a solution to these problems and we follow the same research process again and again, again and again. With that, we conclude our first session. In the next session, we will see another interesting topic. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.